Hey y'all, welcome back to Ivy Wigan, where today I'll be reviewing the brand new release by Tressalore, Picture Perfect in the shade 1426R10. Come on back, you don't want to miss this. If Picture Perfect is a wig that you'd like to purchase, you can find it at the Beauty Neck. Just download their app on your device and make sure to shop those live wig sales every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can get the wig shown at those prices all weekend long until 12 a.m. Eastern Sunday night. You can use my code IBWIGANREF to save you 35% off of your first purchase. You also have the option to use Sezzle, which will break your payments into bi-weekly installments interest-free. If you will, head on over to Facebook and join the Beauty Nick Wig Support Group and you can find them at the Beauty Nick Look on Instagram. If you're looking for me, I'll put all the links in the description box below. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe and ring that bell. That way you'll never miss a wig review. I want to thank the Beauty Nick and Tressa Laura for sending me Picture Perfect in the shade 1426R10. When I took this wig out of the box, I shook it and I put it on my head and instantly it came to me. I think I figured out the reason why they named it Picture Perfect. Because that's what she is, y'all. <laughs> She's picture perfect. She's like selfie ready, ready to take pictures as soon as you take it out of the box. Just nothing that you have to do other than shake it maybe run your comb through it. Just really nothing to do to this wig. It's a shake and go kind of wig, which I do love. So let's talk about the shape before we get into the style. So this is 1426R10. Now it's described as a red blonde, but I think myself, I was thinking about this today. I live in West Virginia and about the end of September, near the first of October, the leaves start to change uh, on the trees and the mountains. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love fall for that reason. And this reminds me of a beautiful fall shade of rust on one of those trees. You've got the rust colored leaves and the gold colored leaves. And that's what it reminds me of. This is a beautiful shade to transition into fall. Yes, you can wear it all summer long, of course, all year long, but it's a beautiful shade if you're looking for something to transition into fall. This is a warm shade. So you have that beautiful rust red blonde base. And then throughout you have that beautiful gold blonde. just beautifully blended. It does have just a beautiful dimension to this shade. And I love, love dimension in the shade. She has a medium to light brown root that transitions beautifully into the regrowth out through the main body of the shade. You don't have any harsh lines. It just transitions nicely from the lace front all the way to the crown. Now let's look closely at, let me put my comb up. Let's look closely at the lace front. Y'all, this lace front is so nicely done. It is just a fine grid lace. And the knots are just finely knotted and you have that red blonde in the lace as well as the gold blonde. It's a very nicely done lace and it feels very comfortable. Just melts into your forehead, just undetectable. Love the lace on this. Um, if you wanted to compare the style, the shade, I would compare it to uh, John Renault's 1426 S10 and um, possibly Raquel Welch's RT1422 SS Shaded with Wheat in their heat friendly line. Okay, so let's talk about this style. So this is a long bob. It is a sleek, straight style with these beautiful feathered layers in it. I love the feathering in this style. 
it's a mono top so you're going to be able to to part it down the middle to the left to the right uh, it has the velvet ear tabs you have an open wefted cap you have a velvet lined extended nape and you have uh, the velcro adjusters this cap is an average size cap i am a 22 and a half circumference and you see i have lots of room in this cap so it would comfortably fit um, 22 and a half or larger. If you have a smaller size head, you could adjust those Velcro ear straps to make it fit. But I love the feathering and the layers and the style. You could keep it long and straight, or you could get some volume and texture to it. And I'm going to show you what you need to get that. Tressa Lore has this product called Tress Tech Wig Wax. And essentially what this is, it's like taking a texturized cream and putting it in a wig spray, a wax spray. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your ends and you're going to spray it with the spray. And immediately you get this texture. Do you see the difference from this side to this? It gives you this really nice texture and volume. Now when it is first sprayed onto the wig, it's going to feel uh, wet and a little tacky, but give it time to dry and that will go away. And you can also use this as, um, as a holding spray, so you could feather that back with those really pretty layers and then spray it with the wig wax to give it that hold. See how pretty that is? And it also, I feel like it pulls out those lower dimensions, the highlights and the lowlights. You can see them so much better with the texture. Let's do it on this side. gives it instant volume. Now there is no permatease in this cap, so if you're not a fan of permatease, you're not going to have it in picture perfect, but if you want the volume, then just give you some, get you some of this wig wax spray, and it is available at the Beauty Neck, so you can purchase it there. But, super pretty style. So the lengths are from the crown you have 14 and a half inches from the bang let's do this side for the bang. The bang is 11 inches so you have a long bang. This is what you would consider a long bob. Oh, there went my comb and from the nape you have 10 inches. It is 5.29 ounces so this is super soft. The, the, the fibers are just so soft y'all and it is their stylable effortless fiber which is a heat defiant heat friendly fiber so you can use your heating tools up to 350 degrees on this style so if you wanted to change it and make it a curly style you have the ability to do that or you can you know use your your tools and straighten it out if towards the end of the the wig life you can use your heating tools to um, steam out those frizzies and bring it back to life so that is it is a heat friendly fiber and it really just has a really nice uh, fine denier to the fibers just really feels really nice. So let's look at Picture Perfect on all sides 
and then we will come back and we'll look at a couple ways that we can style her. So this is the front. Picture perfect. <laughs> Through the magic of technology, while you were away, I parted Picture Perfect down the middle to show you that you can get the curtain style bang with her as well. She's on mono top, so you've got the multi-directional parting. Uh, this style reminds me of Henry Margu's Candace, Ellen Villas Drive, Raquel Welch's Well Played. Uh, I did a review of that last month. I'll put that in the description box below. But those are all comparable styles if you're familiar with them. Uh, I will mention that she does have a little bit of a tangling. So just keep yourself a wide tooth comb handy. And at the end of the day, put a good leave-in conditioner when uh, you get ready to put her up. I like to use the Aesthetica leave-in conditioner because it doesn't leave a real heavy uh, coating on it. So make sure that you just keep those fibers conditioned and that'll life it, lengthen the life of the wig. So I wanted to show you a couple ways that you can style her. Uh, as we mentioned before, it's fall and she has this beautiful rust color shade to it. So I like to put this rust color hat that I have with a hair hanging down the front and yes you can wear your hats with your bangs with your bangs <laughs> with your wigs <laughs> so get you a cute hat and don't be afraid to put it on your wig for a cute style I also wanted to show you this cute little headband that I found at Walmart and all it is is a plastic headband. It's called a clippable, and it just has these little clips on it. And all you have to do is just slip it into the wig, and then you take small pieces, and you twist them, and you place it into the clip. And because you've got this really good lace front, you can have off the face styling. So what you're gonna do is just go all the way down the length of the headband, twist the hair, and clip it into the clip. Twist it into the hair. and clip it in. Oh! and you've got a cute style so there you have it that is picture perfect in the shade 1426R10 by Tressa Lore. If this is a wig you'd like to purchase, head on over and download the Beauty Nook app. You can use my code IBWigandRef to save you 35%. And as always, if you will like, subscribe, ring that bell, that way you never miss a wig review. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you again next time.